For this video, I'm going to talk about user-defined routes. So here, this is a VNet and has three subnets in it, and there's a virtual machine and all of them. And, you know, the network security group rules is going to say that they could all talk to each other because they're in the same VNet. And that's also like their, the system rules is the subnets can talk to each other. But in some cases, you're going to need user-defined rules. So like one use case would be like, let's say uh, subnet B down here is hosting a virtual machine, but it's also acting as a virtual appliance. And then we want, you know, all traffic from, from outside to flow, to come inbound to this virtual machine and the subnet, um, you know, so that it could inspect it, let's say as a firewall or you know some type of software that's uh we're changing the the route to do that so we just want all traffic to flow flow through here so it could inspect it you know so it could accept it or deny it so even if like a vm a wants to talk to vmc it actually has to go to b first and then to c or you know C to A, so it has to go to C to B and then C and then B to A. So that's just a quick overview on user defined routes.